Hello there, friends. It's me, Pastor Chris. Welcome. I'm so excited to see you all here today because this is going to be the best day ever. Look, I have my favorite kite. It's just like my friend Molly's kite. We're going to meet some of our friends at the park later today to fly kites together. And I'm going to surprise them with a picnic. I packed all our favorite foods. I can just imagine how fun it'll be. Let's see. I've got ham sandwiches. I like mine with mustard. And I've got apple slices. Molly likes the green ones best. And I can't forget Miss Aisha's sugar cookies. She always sends them with us when she bakes. She is such a good friend. And juice boxes? Of course, because flying kites makes you really thirsty. I can't wait to get to the park. It's the perfect day to fly a kite. I'm ready to tell you a true story from the Bible. Today's true story from the Bible is about a breakfast that happened not long after Jesus came back. Do you remember why we celebrate Easter? It started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did Jesus stay there? No. That's right. Jesus came back just like he said he would. It was such good news. Jesus is alive and one of the things he wanted to do was spend time with his friends. Now, do this with me. What do you think we're doing? Are we throwing a shoe? No. What are we doing? We're fishing. That's right. And that's what Jesus' friends were doing. They were fishing in a boat early in the morning when all of a sudden they saw someone standing on the shore. Do you know who they saw? Who promised to come back? Jesus. Yes, it was Jesus. Jesus is alive. His friends were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face. In fact, Peter, one of Jesus' friends on the boat, was so excited that he jumped in the water to swim to Jesus. Let's pretend to swim to Jesus. Are you ready? Whew. Whew. Swimming is tiring. Good job. We made it. And when they got to the shore, Jesus was cooking breakfast. Do you think they had pancakes? Or cereal? Uh, cereal for breakfast is my favorite. No, Jesus was making them fish for breakfast. So they all sat and had breakfast with their best friend Jesus. Jesus is alive. He loved them so much and wanted to show them that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And guess what? Jesus loves you so much. He wants to be your friend too, forever and ever. How awesome is that? Tell me, who wants to be our friend forever? Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Yes, he does. Let's pray and thank Jesus for being the best friend ever. Thank you, Jesus, for doing exactly what you promised. You said you would come back and you did. You are the best friend ever. Thank you for loving us. In your name we pray. Amen. Wow! What a great story! Jesus spent time with his friends on the beach. Jesus is the best friend anyone could ever have. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Did you get it? Got it. Good! I can't wait to hang out with my friends today, and I'm going to make sure to tell them all about how Jesus is the best friend ever. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!